back with another ROM review and this is Potato OS for Redmi 7 and Redmi Y3 and from the home screen you guys can uh, gauge this is Android 12 of course and let me show you from the settings here is the board section and we have Android 12 of course and this is the animation and this animation you guys will get in boot as a boot animation when you boot your device and we have a different and latest new kernel which is 4.9.287 arcadia plus and we have android security update very latest january 5 so of course android 12 and posp version 5.1.0.3 and you guys will get future update as it is official one so no problem and build type open beta so and i will just want to uh, really thank the gagan malvi who is the developer of that rom and who is very senior really thanks to him and after that we have the system as usual this is a g apps build so you guys don't need to worry about any g apps just don't need to flash any g apps and here is the developer setting you guys can see so many things are there and if you guys want to enable refresh it then you guys can enable from here and you guys will get that refresh rate option just find that out yourself you guys will get that no problem and we have the gesture system navigation and you guys can see here with left edge and right edge you guys can uh, select back gesture and right gesture whatever you need and here you guys can see i'm using the new y lengthy bar which is never peel you guys can customize this and i'll show it later and here we have a digital well-being and everything you guys know about that and i'll talk about gaming experience and you guys can play pubg mobile using magic's module you guys will get constant 60 fps in that rom no problem and not only this rom you guys can get the 60 fps on any other rom if you use the magic's module then and we have security of course everything is latest and fingerprint of course we don't have uh, any extra like face unlock and other app lock because we don't have this for now in android 12 so wait for the future update and then after that we have wallpaper and style we only have that one wallpaper which is system wallpaper and we have we have missed here some extra customization like monet and other things but if you of apply any wallpaper you will get monet working because this is android 12 and everything will be changed according to your wallpaper color background everything and toggle notification center whatever you say everything will be changed and you guys can apply dark theme from here as well and after that we have display as usual nothing extra the colors you guys can um, get here but this is not included yet as it is in open beta stage but in next update you guys will get uh, some new features and double tap everything is just working without any problem i tried everything no issues with that and volume in call i checked no problem and he's there here is the fries that means uh, customization hub but in future they will add more customizations but we have this customizations for now and system and advanced reboot you guys can enable and double tap and three finger screenshot and here is the navigation handle length and you guys can uh, if you want to change the navigation length then you guys can do that and now you guys can see here if you want to increase it like this so if you want to make it short or long you can do that without any problem and annoying notification you guys can just lock so this is really important and less boring heads up and here is the colorfulness you guys can increase the color and you guys can use custom color lightness and generate accurate shades according to your choice so this is it and we have a status board just battery and we don't have built-in traffic system in that room so don't worry about that but in future update it will be added and rather than everything is perfect in that room no problem and here is the animation which is a screen turn of animation you guys can use scale like as before crt i'm using here and after that as usual and battery backup i'm just using for two days and battery backup is just awesome i didn't face any problem with battery backup and i played games pubg no problem and as usual voltage preferred icons 
just network type we have only three and which is also good and after that every necessary customizations are there so don't worry about that and we have built in so many applications like gmail and maps google maps photos yeah, some extra things are there and and right here and you guys can select android auto and here we have google maps photos and safety and here is the price you guys can access directly from mm, applications which is price so you can access this from settings and apps and built-in we have that open camera and by default safety net is passed so don't worry about that and I've, I've just found uh, on the first day when I flashed the ROM I found one uh, one uh, columns in that ROM and which was in phone applications which was lagging but after that I didn't get yet so still now it's buttery smooth without any problem so I just got that problem for once and after that I didn't get any problem so now it's automatically fixed so if you want to use this ROM I can recommend you you guys can use no problem you guys will not face any problem and GPS is working at very very fine and very fine and fast and accurate so don't worry about that and Gmail application everything is working and here you can see and you guys can use using one handed mode and you guys can use just if you swipe like this you guys can use one handed mode this is a feature new feature you guys can use one handed mode if you want to then and scroll up and swipe up just just remember this is Android 12 feature just do like this and you will be able to uh, use one handed mode like this so this is cool I guess and all the things and you guys can see there is no animation delay and lagging everything is just fine and I found very good RAM management in that ROM very good RAM management and I am using here the Google camera which is working without any problem as it is Android 12 and you guys will not get any problem let me capture one photo just select and capture the photo and it will not take much time to process SDR process so let me show you that and here you guys can see photo already done and now just open your photos or any gallery application you guys will get the photo here you guys can see the photos already taken so no SDR processing time so this is very fast and accurate and of course Play Store inbuilt, don't worry about that. And flashlight, Bluetooth, everything is just working without any problem and no lag. And if wire, I didn't get any lag, so this is a cool thing. And let me show you the Geekbench score. And at the end of this video, you guys, of course, you guys will watch the gameplay of 60 FPS gameplay PUBG Mobile. And this is also great, not bad, very decent, and it will be updated and it will be increased in next updates so don't worry about that you guys will get updates and let me show you cpu throttling and cpu throttling was really great and ram management is really fine I found here and here you guys can see 93 percent which is really great and you guys can see 93 percent that was great and I found great experience in that room and the great thing is that the home settings that means we have by default launcher launcher for and which I personally like very much this is great and you guys will get huge customizations in that launcher by default we have this launcher with that room so this is a great thing and you guys can change the system icon shape round square whatever you need and notification dot and in future you guys will get more updates uh, light dark you guys can select from here directly and auto adaptive icons for all non adaptive icons you guys can enable these things this is great and you guys can uh, change the back background lightness whatever you need and home screen at a glance you scroll wallpaper and you guys can select so many things use customizations are there and you guys can change the icon size level size so many things are there and you guys can customize dock like this corner radius apply accent color whatever you need you guys can do and folders then recents and clear all button at bottom if you want that then you guys can enable this one 
custom screen corner radius you guys can do and that's all and I hope you guys understand the video and if you if I miss anything then just let me know in the comment section below and remember one thing I rooted my device of course and safety net is passed by default I already showed you guys in so many videos how can you guys uh, and this is the canary build that means magix pro and which is very latest for now and I'm using here magix module for PUBG gameplay so now you guys can watch the PUBG so here game. I'm going to show you guys the gameplay in potato OS and which is based on Android 12 very latest and here you guys can see the graphic settings and I'm using here a module magix module which I already shared with you guys uh, in a video few months back and here you guys can see I am using smooth graphics and 90 fps and here you guys can see actually this is not 90 fps you guys will be able to get 60 fps in redmi 7 and here you, you guys can see this is 60 fps constant you guys will get that so now let's get it started with the gameplay and let's see the uh, refresh rate uh, gets uh, fluctuated or not let's start a match and let's play due to auto brightness facing some problem so here we go so very smooth experience no problem with that very smooth very smooth experience you guys can play without any issue i just i'm just getting border smooth experience here really smooth really smooth this is redmi 7 i can't believe this and i'm really uh, sorry for that uh, refresh rate actually this is the display refresh rate so that's why i'm sorry that's why it's constant and uh, in the video when you guys will watch the video i will update uh, which fps actually we are getting in that module so kindly check that So you can see very very smooth, scope in and out very fine. 